The Sundance Film Festival is in full swing, and as you can tell, we really had to drag Rich Bonaducci down. He's still dressed the part. Is everybody wearing that at Sundance right I, it now? It would be awesome if everyone All the cool was people? wearing Doctor Who scarves and whatnot. <laughs> yes. And, but and, no. Yeah. That'd you got to fit in up there. Yeah, I don't you think trying? I would fit in at all. Damon, can't we do something about this weather? It is really cold well, up there. Well, it's supposed to be cold okay. in January, isn't it? Be yes. I mean, I think they expect some snow yeah. in Park City. Yeah. So That's if you true. had fun up there, you're running into stars, you've yeah, seen it's, the it's movies. Yeah, it's been a good time. Yeah. I've been down here as much as I've been up there. Okay. Just, really? Seeing movies exploring. down here down. Oh, yeah. Though, as we talked about. Because there are a lot to see from Ogden see. Yeah. on down. And so, so, so why don't we talk about one of the big movies? That's coming out from there. All right. You, well, should we talk about Michael Jackson first? We can. What do you we want can, to talk well, about first? Uh, I wanted to mention there, there are some docs that I really think people should see. Okay. That, just to run through them real quick Jim, the James Foley story about the journalist that was killed in Syria. Incredibly powerful documentary. Uh, if I could order people to see it, I would. Okay. It's been picked up by HBO, so if you don't see it at Sundance, February 6th. Another one uh, called Trapped about the abortion laws and how they, uh, the restricted abortion laws and how it affects people on the ground. Uh, that's been picked up by PBS, so if you don't see it, you can see it for free. Uh, the Supreme Court has picked up a case about that in March, so that's a story about an unfolding story, mm -hmm. you know, a movie about an unfolding story. Something a little bit easier than that, a Wiener about disgraced oh. former Congressman Anthony Weiner. <laughs> <Yeah>. Really <laughs> okay. funny, actually. Yeah. Very intimate and behind the scenes kind of stuff. And also... Um, well, he helped. I mean, he participated, right? Yeah. He, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. And yeah. Norman Lear, just another version of you. Quick doc uh, documentary about Norman Lear, who did All in the Family, Jefferson's, and all that stuff. But what you're probably talking about is Eddie the Eagle, mm -hmm. starring Taron Edgerton from Kingsman and huge Ackman. And he is. He's like 6'2". <laughs> uh, we got a chance to talk to them on the red carpet. And they love Sundance and Utah. We were so excited that uh, they invited us here yeah, to do it. Amazing. It's a perfect place for this film. The film is really fun. It's uplifting. I think it needs a big crowd. I think hopefully they're really going to enjoy it. And to do it here and in the slopes. Now, that was uh, last night we saw it along with 400 other people who were lucky enough to see the super double secret screening. They didn't know. They just won tickets and got to see that. Wow, and that's I, it doesn't come out until February 26th, so I can't technically review it. I can't write about it, but I can talk about it. I can't stop it. <laughs> and uh, it's good. It's very fun. It's very funny. It's a true story. Of course, they take some creative license, but it's it's uh, the guts of the story are there. Okay. And um, the best thing I liked about it, it's it feels like an 80s movie. I talked with the director, and he actually made it seem like so it's, it's supposed to, that's part yeah, of the plan. It's okay. set in the 80s, right. but it's also produced as an 80s. The music, the keyboard stuff, the beats, it's, it, he loves that's John Hughes. That's kind of cool. Grew mm. up on it. Yeah. I was ear to ear going, I'm expecting Molly Ringwald to show up at any moment. And, <laughs> and Breakfast Club. Yeah, yeah. Breakfast yeah. Club. Yeah. Yeah. So although I can't review it technically, Okay. And okay. Uh, there you go. But Michael Jackson showed up too, someplace. Kind straight of. out of the 80s. Michael Jackson, yeah. uh, it's called from, from Motown to Off the Wall, Spike mm -hmm. Lee film, documentary about him before he became a real household name and how he and his family, you know, Jackson 5 and the whole bit. This is one people are talking about quite a bit as well. And another musical one coming up, Frank Zappa in his own words called Eat That Question. Another, lots of really cool musical docs up there. And that's one of them. All so right. documentaries, it's all the rage, I guess. Well, yeah, no, no, you know? they're docs, Carrie, if you want to be cool. Okay, they're docs. docs. They're you have docs. to have a pretentious scarf and call them docs. Yeah. And maybe that's talk right. on the phone while you do it. <laughs> okay. Oh, that, that'd be final great. tip. Yeah. All right. I don't final know if tip. I can be hip. Yeah, yeah. thanks, Rich. Yeah, thank thanks you. for condescending from up there to here. Well, you know, I have to come down with the little people eventually. Every yeah, once in a while, yeah. once a week. Yeah. We appreciate keep, it. We're keeping you real, Rich. I appreciate that. Thanks. Okay, yeah, we're going to go out to Big Buddha right now, who's keeping it real with some really cool stuff. You know, this is manly stuff, Carrie. If you want to know what manly is. It's right here. Well, first huh? of all, look to your right. Secondly, look to Big Buddha. <laughs> Still looking. Wait, well, oh, to there your we right. go. There we to go. To your Rich. right, not Rich. camera right. Say it, say it in your manly voice, Dan. Manly, this is manly, manly, manly stuff. Manly stuff. Yeah.